Hello, welcome back to Music Theory Mondays, and today we're going to be looking at bar lines. So we've already looked at time signatures, let's go into a little bit more detail about the, how those bars are split up. So have a look at this. You can see lots of different notes, all on the A space, just to make it a little bit easier to start with. You can see at the beginning, we're in the treble clef stave, and we're in 4-4 four, four times, that means four crotchet beats in each bar. So, at the moment, we've got no beats at all. So we need to add some bar lines. And bar lines are used to split up the sections of, in this case, four beats. So I've made this one quite easy. So, look at the notes. You've got four crotchets. So that's where our first bar line would go because that adds up to four beats. Next, we've got two minims. They're worth two beats each, so in total that's four, so we put a bar line after those. Then we've got a semi-brief, well that's four beats by itself, so a bar line follows that. And then finally, we've got a crotchet, a minim, and two quavers. One beat, two beats, and half a beat, and half a beat. Adds up to four beats again. So that concludes our bar lines for that section. Let's have a look at a slightly more complicated piece. Okay, so this piece is in 3-4. And I've moved the notes around, so some are higher pitch and some are lower pitch. But I think we can see where the bar lines go quite easily. Now we're in 3-4, so that means three crotchet beats to each bar. So let's see. Nice and easy to start with. If it helps, Put how many beats each note is worth underneath first. That way you can easily see your groups of three. So, one, two, three, crotchets. So our first bar line goes there. Then we've got a minimum worth two and a crotchet worth one, adds up to three. So our next bar line. And then finally, four quavers and a crotchet that adds up to three. So that's our final section done. When working with a different number on the bottom, for example, eight, it's a bit more tricky, and we'll look at that at a different time. But for now, we'll just look at four, four, and three, four. So below is a link to a worksheet for you to have a go for yourself at putting some bar lines in. 